what's up? It's your boy Carcino here. Don't forget to subscribe to the page. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and select all notifications so you can be notified whenever we go live. As we're getting ready to talk about this situation right here, as need be. Now, many people might see a scenario or situation that they think they know and don't know at all. There's countless, countless moving parts out here at all times. Now, Nia Long has basically confirmed that her and M.A. Udoka are no longer together. They're not a couple. A lot of people felt that they still were and that she was basically defending him when she was attacking the Boston Celtics. Uh, she definitely couldn't be with him because for her career and for what she's doing, She's getting a lot of opportunities based on people feeling sorry for her. Oh, we feel sorry for Neil Long. So we're doing now, here comes all these magazine interviews and all this PR and press who wants to know and pressure her about her private life and her situation. That's why she was not willing to give up commentary when all of this was going on because mostly she had a son to think about who's 10 years old, her oldest, he's old enough to understand, but the youngest son, he's 10. You know, dad is his first hero. So he's confused when he sees this is happening right in front of him on the news. Um, you know, ESPN is blowing up and, you know, they had to take him out of school while all this was happening. You know, and it's all oh, everything's happening so fast. The Celtics just made it very uncomfortable for everybody in their family and didn't care anything about them anymore. <clears throat> Even though M.A. Udoka is still employed by the Boston Celtics. Let that sink in. Then you let it sink in. The Los Angeles Lakers organization was interested in M.A. Udoka, and they, they would have kept this in-house a long time ago, back when they uh, got focal. And they were saying they should have made a move and fired Fogel. And gotten M.A. Udoka. But it's hard to fire a guy you got two championships with. But besides the fact... That the Los Angeles Lakers assistant job, because they didn't want him to be the head head coach, they wanted him to be an assistant. And then with promises of, well, we'll get rid of him and make you a coach later. And that would have been helpful to Neil Long's career, who spent most of her time not on the East Coast, uh, mostly um, out in California for, you know, jobs and assignments and when you're an actor or actress, you're always on the move. You're never in one spot, especially for a home. And if you're active, you know, you're living out of a suitcase. You're living in hotels. You're living in rooms. So for her, she has to travel a lot. So at her main home, she has to trust the people who are there to watch her children, uh, take care of situations for her that needs to be like the bills, you know, it's, it's hard to balance all these things when you got to remember you're working on your lines, you're doing, playing a role. 
And this is the scenario and the situations that you're, you know, in line with. So, I mean, <clears throat> from what I hear, they're co-parenting. Uh, he doesn't live in the house anymore. You know, he moved out. And hadn't really been bothered or seen since. Um, he had offered to do, um, from the source I know, he offered to do counseling. To go to a sexual addiction counseling and go to uh, marriage counseling. But she was not willing to do that. She said, you could do that for you because that's more about you. I don't need counseling. <laughs> so you can go do that. But we're not a married couple, so there's no counseling needed. <laughs> uh, yeah, she took her ring off, definitely. Her engagement ring was taken off. Um, she been stopped wearing it. But it's the embarrassment. That's the only thing that's the sticking crawl of, of anybody who knows something about somebody who's cheated on them. For women, it's more the embarrassment. You know, and that's what they can't get over. It's like, you embarrassed me. That line right there, you and embarrassed, came side by side. I never understood for the life of me why people were like so up in arms about situations. It just blew my mind. Like, I'm just like, I don't get it. Yeah, they would be all up in arms, man. They would. They would always have a. Like, I don't get it. People be all up in arms like live it about somebody else's situation it's like look she has to go through that with MAU Doka why is this getting you mad <laughs> women be all mad and everything so if she goes back oh don't go back to him see this what's wrong with women now they keep going back I be like you have nobody <laughs> how you gonna tell a woman not to go back to her man it ain't about M.A. Udoka's money. She got her own money. But it's not about that. Sometimes, even though he might have cheated and did all that, he might have been a great father to his son. You never thought about that. For the one mistake he made, or whatever his vice might be, he might do everything right. He might clean the house. He might do a whole bunch of stuff and take care of business. Because you've got to remember, she's been with him 13 years, so there's some good things that he did. Or she wouldn't have stuck around so long. Now, everyone have their own opinions. They have their own thoughts about the process, what have you, but I mean, overall, what are we really talking about? Neil Long is a grown woman who did what she wanted to do. But still, no one's talking about this woman who, who had the affair and cheated on her husband, and she's got three children by, 
Nobody's throwing her anywhere, you know, because she's a nobody. Like, well, she's a nobody. So what are we going to talk about her? Because she's involved. She became a somebody when she slept with a somebody. <laughs> so they're, uh, they're breaking their neck to protect her. She's such the victim, even though she's the one that's giving it up. But that's the, it was, he became the living cliche. M.A. Udoka became a living cliche of what men do. Men cheat down. Women cheat up. If a woman don't cheat on a man, she's normally cheating with a man that's worth way more than the guy she's with. He's got way better qualities. He's bringing a lot more to the table. She going to risk it all with him. Now, a man going to risk everything for the girl who addressed the bathroom mats in the doggone Holiday Inn Suites. We gonna risk throwing away millions of dollars of endorsements for the absolute bottom of the pit. So that's the situation. Those are the problems. That's the scenarios that we all have to deal with. But just because a man cheat, don't mean the man is worthless. Don't mean the, the man ain't no good. Don't mean the man is trash. Forget all these lies and narratives that they try to feed you. They're false realities. They're not true. So hopefully that reached everybody. Hopefully everybody has hit the like button. Subscribe to the page. Oh, cash app question. Uh, I'm going to go check the cash app and see who has asked some questions. Hold up, hold up. Hold up. Did you see Irene Carroll? Uh, thank you. And yes, uh, I did see that. You're welcome for the content. Um, but yeah, Irene Carroll, yeah. What a feeling is her biggest song. The Flash Dance soundtrack. And she went into a whole thing with a record label. I remember her from DC Cab. All the songs she had on there. You know, sad. You know, my mom knew her from the movie Sparkle and all this. So, the original Sparkle movie. Um, no, we didn't have any of those things transpire with us. Our society wasn't made to be timid. So, Irene Carroll was a great voice, great singer, uh, tremendous talent. It was sad to lose her. You know, but she did suffer from drug abuse. Uh, a lot of it, she said, was lies that the record company created to try to tarnish her career. But, yeah, I heard she suffered from a drug problem. Um for years that she beat but 
Rest in peace. You will go down in history. Okay, uh, most of these are just comments, but not questions. Yeah, so my cash app is Carcino. You should see it on the thumbnail. Uh, leave a cash app, and you can put a question in there. Make sure it's short. Is Jay-Z working on a new album? I'm hearing that. I haven't heard anything about Jay-Z making a new album. Um, not that at all. Or him working on a song. Anything like that. That's all I know <laughs> about that. Is zero. But thank you for your cash out. Big Jack. The Lakers need to shut it all down. I believe that they can get more for trading Anthony Davis. I think, okay. Trading Anthony Davis is um, risky if you're going to trade for draft picks and you want to blow up the whole team right now. But I don't know. You're going to have to trade LeBron, too. And I don't know if you want to do that when you're selling tickets based on the fact that you have LeBron and AD on the team. So, you know, as, as everybody keep bragging about, they're still out of the playoffs right now if it started today. So they're still not a playoff team. So I'm just stating the facts. Uh, <laughs> don't shoot me. Okay, let me go to see if there's another one. What do you think about the 10-year-old that popped his mom? I didn't hear you talk about it. Uh, I think I spoke about it <clears throat> either on One Crack News or one of those platforms. Could have been my um, Patreon. I could have done it there. But I think I spoke about it already. How you going to call me Bookman Jr. and then leave a comment? I mean, you're paying me money to call me Book Bookman Jr. Go ahead and knock yourself out. Thanks for the cash out. <laughs> um, oh, this is a good one. What do you want for Christmas this year, Sino? Uh, money would do. <laughs> cash app would do. <laughs> uh, cash app. <laughs> yep, cash apps work. That's all you got to do. Um, what else they have? No, I don't see that happening. What's the best food when you're drunk? Ah, uh, anything with bread <laughs> to soak up some of that liquor, probably. Um... That's what I would say. Probably pizza, I guess. I don't think food is what you really need. Or, you know, something that's filling, I guess. But nothing that's going to be hard to throw up. <laughs> I think if you're drunk, you need sleep first. Drink some water, go to sleep. I don't think you want anything on your belly that you finna start throwing up. Independence, we don't. We've lost our independence. 
Um, you, okay, that's not okay. That's just a question. I mean, a statement. No question really attached to it. Um, unless he's asking me, did we lose our independence? Ah, when did we have it? <laughs> I hate LeBron James also, say no. Okay. Nice shout out. Alright, well let's let's leave it here. Let's leave it here. Um Yeah, and the rest of them are just statements of people telling me they think Biggie killed Tupac and Pac paid Suge to kill Big. I mean, it's all kind of crazy messages. I look, I said, ask me a question, not just come up with some of the craziest things in God creation. <laughs> so that's why. Um, things are the way they are. But thank you for your time. Uh, like I said, man, sometimes you break up with somebody, you get up, you end up in another relationship, and it's ten times worse than the person that cheated on you. So it makes more sense to stay in the damn relationship you was with. <laughs> Maybe he could have gotten better. I've seen relationships where people have cheated, and they got back together, and he's way better than he was before he was cheating. He's a much better husband and everything because he don't want to make those mistakes again. And they ain't had those problems since. I'm not saying that's this relationship, but now it's plausible. So, right now, I'm out. Talk to you later. Deuces.